Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Yo, yo, hey, man, just tapping in, man. Just, hey, man, listen, man, I've been wanting to get on here all day. I finally have made it to my seat, my designation, uh, to talk about a few things that I didn't see. As you can see on the back screen, uh, Jesse Collins had a lot to say today, and I, I, it was a subliminal thing because he probably seen one of Boss Talk's uh, situations where I was talking about Jay and him because a lot of people came for me when I had said uh, Jay-Z uh, this was all a Jay-Z call. A lot of people in the comments, I seen them. I just don't say nothing to you, but I see what you're saying. But you were like, oh, you a Jay hater. This wasn't Jay. Jay ain't the only one make the decision. Well, let's see what the producer of the show said. Let me read this right here. It says, Super Bowl halftime show producer, Jesse Collins. So Jesse Collins is a Super Bowl halftime producer. Tell Variety that Jay-Z chooses the annual halftime headliner. It's a decision that Jay makes. Colin says of choosing the annual halftime act. Since we've been, listen, since we've been uh, on board with that show, he's made it every year. Every year that he's been dealing with him. And it's been amazing. He always picks right. They supporting him. But I'm telling you right now, quit trying to act like when it's something like this, Jay didn't, Jay made the call. Now that Jay's made the call, now y'all, y'all, I don't, I, I mean, I don't keep that same energy because he made the call and I, I told you already whether it was, I don't look at it as a Lil Wayne thing. I look at it as you went over to, to when you went over to uh, that uh, situation over there in Inglewood a few years back, uh, you let Dre come out, bring out all his friends, and that was so dope. I love that show. I'm a big, big, big Dre fan. I'm a big Snoop Dogg fan, even bigger, and 50 even more. So I, I, everything you did on that show, I'm with it. Only thing I didn't like was that you didn't let the game come because I felt like the game should have been there. I like the game. I think he's literally lyrically inclined. I think he's just, he's he, he's one of the ones that had, when nobody wasn't holding it down, there was a period of time when all we heard was the game. Nothing was going on on the West Coast but the game for a period. And like I said, I've always been admired the fact of his music. And as far as his individuality, I have no idea what the heck that's all about. But I'm a fan of his music, and I'm a fan of the movement when it comes to the music. So I enjoyed that whole situation. Now when it comes down to the South, Hear me and hear me good. It's been a lot of times we've been slated when it come down to the rap game. Now, Lil Wayne, that's one thing, but just the whole cash money, no limit movement, same thing in Texas. When you come over here, respect what we done built over here. Same thing in Memphis. Anything we dealing with down here, don't try to sidestep it. Same thing in, in Alabama, Mississippi. You gotta show us love and respect. It, it's a thing where it's personal. A lot of people say it's a personal thing between you and Cash Money. I have no idea, but I do know that Jay made this decision and you guys was pretty hard on me about it because y'all try to act as if Jay it didn't do it is what you guys tried to allude to. And I get it. I, I know it's a lot of diehard fans out there. I mean, I'm before as far as Jay music, I'm more, like I always tell people, I'm more of a 50 Cent fan. 50 Cent bit, went through a lot and his whole legacy. Jay, um, like I said, I'm, I, I see what he's doing, but in no ways uh, I could compare it to what the top music that I listen to. Now, that's just me personally. I can have my own personal opinion. It's subjective for everybody. But anyway, I got my girl, Reality TV. Reality TV, you there? You know I'm here. Okay. Uh, I don't know which side you was on. You see me putting it out. Like, I don't know what was going on. Let me... Wait, you know you was on me about tearing down a black man. I said, "Not him over here trying to tear down a black." Well, I'm not. It's not about tearing down a black man. It's you say I it, no. I'm talking about the fact of the the, the, the divisiveness. This is what I mean when it comes down to you listen. Over here, everybody want to say Jay Z did it. Jay Z did it. Do y'all? No, a lot of people said Jay Z didn't do it. Right, but do you honestly believe at the end of the day that he has the five or say so? 
Do you honestly believe? I think he does. I think he has the final say. So I, I, I think I think at the end of the day, I think they're gonna ride with I what think Jay he's says. The to point to no, 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 no. I think if he wanted them to show light to to cash money and and to no limit or to New Orleans as a whole, there's a lot of dope people. Tyler Perry even from down there actually, but. And he not in the music, but at any rate, I'm just saying there's a lot of dope people from down there, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 I, I definitely understand it, but, you know, for, coming from a business perspective, I do understand bringing Kendrick Lamar because I did see Lil Wayne perform at WrestleMania, and it was like, you know, you, you heard that? How quiet it was. Did you hear what I just said? This is not about Lil Wayne. I'm mean, Lil Wayne only. This is about the South. This is about cash money. This is about no limit. You don't think we had enough music or enough movement in the South to be credited to work and do a Super Bowl? I don't, I don't think that's the problem, though. I know that's the problem. No, it's not. Man, please, if it wasn't a problem, well, why haven't they ever did it then? They've done it with everybody else. But okay, so okay, let's think. Let's think. We gotta think about it. Okay, Usher performed in Vegas. Usher ain't no damn rapper. Usher don't. Usher uh, but he performed at the. At, it it, do, it doesn't matter. Usher is not a rapper. It doesn't matter. It does because that tons. To be honest with you, Jay Z's legacy rides on the fact of people are calling Lil Wayne the greatest to ever do it, the greatest of all time. Right now, people are challenging the fact of G of of this guy being the greatest of all time. You don't think Jay hear that? Lil Wayne is in my era, right? So. I understand, and I feel like Lil Wayne era was back then. I don't feel like Lil Wayne, and I listen, I'm not taking nothing away from nobody. I'm just saying, like, from a business perspective, Kendrick Lamar is the best marketing strategy for... I get what you're saying, but I'm telling you right now, when you... No, but when you look at when you look at Drake them back two years ago in Inglewood, they wasn't thinking about no damn business strategy. They were thinking about the history of the music. But it was like 50 years of hip hop, was it not? It doesn't matter. 50 or 60 years. When you come under that Mason Dixon line, <laughs> so so marketing. so you People telling me so naive and stop being in their feelings. So so you telling me that the South shouldn't be recognized when people come down. I'm here. not saying. Now that's exactly what you're saying. No, I'm not. Don't worry about it. Don't even recognize the it's South. Not. Just come down here and don't worry about the hip hop in the South or the country rap tunes or whatever we do. Just no, wait a minute. Just cut. no, it is. That's what exactly what it becomes. No, that's what y'all. Bro, doing. you gotta understand when it comes down to tip top music and, and things being chosen, the the top fifty Billboard, all that stuff. They got our artists at the bottom of that hole. Why is that though? Because they're they're picking them. The South know how to promote. It it ain't about. Let me, can I, let me tell you something. I'm in the South and I look at how people move in the South and how people move in the North. And the South move way differently than the North do. And we have Southern hospitality, but they definitely don't act like they do. Okay, let me ask you this: Have have the South sold just as many records as everybody else? You talking about a cash money? Have cash money? Have cash money sold more records than 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 Kendrick Lamar? How can you say that? It's a whole group. You damn right it is. I'm saying. Well, then 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 Dr. Dre. No, then Death Row. Then Death Row. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't say. We won't just say that. We'll say Death Row. Did did, did cash money sell more than Death Row? Did cash money sell more than Rockefeller? I thought you was a Tupac. I'm asking you a question. Did Cash Money sell more records than Ca Did Cash Money sell more records than than Death Row? When Tupac a part of Death Row? Did Cash Money sell more records than Rockefeller Records? Look, you need to. I'm asking you a question. I can't get that question answered for nothing. You need to be pulling up these stats while you saying it. To All me. I'm asking you is, uh, somebody else can pull them up. But go look. No. Go look and see if Cash Money didn't sell billions of. Man, listen. One thing. One thing they can't do is, is is disrespect the fact that the money come in down here. And they never could. They having the Super Bowl in the South. Yeah, they having it down here, but they're not respecting the South while they're doing it down they here. They having it in New Orleans. They not. I, I wonder if they gonna bring any artists out from down here. And let me say this. I feel like it might be a market. So you, they might be. They gonna bring Lil Wayne out and everybody. Can't well, they gonna have to. No, no, no. They gonna have to because we're not gonna stop talking about it unless they do, and they know that. What y'all gonna do? What y'all going to do? We doing what we supposed to do as media and as the public and as the fans. I think they stepped up a whole lot. 
They pretty much have been. Like to me, the only people complaining is really black people. No, 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 no. It's a lot of people complaining. But I'm telling. But I'm telling you right now. I think they they they've heard the voice. That's why that guy. Uh, what's his name? People are acting out of emotion. No, no. I, I just think when you come down here, you got to come right. Don't come wrong. Um, Jesse Collins, uh, why did he make that statement today? Let's go back to that. Because everybody was talking about it. Oh, like, so they hear the voices. They hear the voices. But, but what do they mean? Oh, they hear them when they want to hear them, though. Yeah, but that's a good thing that they we, even heard we, them. We be out here saying, don't shoot us if they don't hear us. I'm going to be honest with you. I, ever I mean, since... Ever since they put Jay in there and that halftime, listen, like said, listen, 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 ever since they put Jay in there, man, Jay been doing a killer job. Everything he done that wasn't down here. So why not turn him down? No, no, no. What I'm saying, what everything he's done okay. thus far, I agree with Jesse Collins that it was a great job. I just say if you come to the South and you're going you're gonna to come rock with us, man, let us rock out. You know, don't don't treat us like y'all been treating us and acting like our our tapes and our our movement was never as good as y'all's or even able to stand when it come down to when y'all talking about it. Because when these guys talk about great artists and great lyricists, some kind of way they leave the South out. I'm going to tell you that. But you got people down here like Andre 3000. You got people down here like Bum B. You got people down here like Scarface. You got people down here like Lil Wayne. You got some people down here that you can't ignore. So ain't no sense in even trying to ignore them because you can't. They are legends and they ain't not and they ain't going nowhere. So at the end of the day, man, all I'm going to say is, man, respect. I appreciate all the fans that stepped up and said something. Uh, shout out to D1. I heard his uh, new uh, his, his get back today. You know, um, hey, man, everybody, this, this whole thing is shining light on what's really going down in the South. So I, I appreciate the whole look. So don't think I'm mad at Jay because Jay was a person that didn't graduate high school, I believe. And he still what turned out. Hold on. Hold on. He didn't. And, and, and he turned into a billionaire, one of the coldest businessmen that I, I've seen do it in my era. So he wanted to one of the greats when it come down to entrepreneurship. I just had to say that, you know, a dope dude, man. But anyway, man, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel make sure you check out boss talk 101 man hey man and make sure you hey represent wherever you from wherever that demographic is to the fullest man boss talk 101 review yeah we on boss talk tv shout out to e the reason you see